what's up so uh this is nima t if you don't know in the in this video i'm going to talk about uh how i made the everyday beat and basically it's like an ambient trap beat and i'm gonna do a little rundown of everything that i did and how i put this beat together so the main element in this beat is a piano and before i made the beat i made sure uh you know i kind of know what I wanted to make, you know, I wasn't 100% sure, but I had an idea, which is always uh, helpful if you're making beats, you know, if you have an idea of what you're gonna make. Uh, so in this one, uh, I used the, the stock FL Piano, which comes with FL Studio. I'm, you know, I, I use FL Studio to make my beats, and I think it's a really powerful DAW if you know how to use it. So anyways, yeah. The stock plugin that comes with the FL Studio is the FL Keys, which is it's really basic, you know, sound. But you know, if you add a lot of effects to it, it's gonna it can't sound really good. So I need I should have brought a water. My mouth is dry. So yeah, uh, let me play it. I'm gonna play it without any effects, and I'm gonna tell you what I did. So this is just without any effects. Something uh, something nice, you know, I, I don't play keys, I just play, I got this small mini keyboard, that's all I use. Uh, so it's just something playing. After that I added a, a chorus effect to the piano and also some saturation, which kind of, the chorus effect kind of like pans it out and kind of like has this duplicate sound. I don't know if you ever like duplicated sound, it kind of has this like warpy effect. And uh, the sound good, uh, the sound goodizer, which already comes with FL, it's like a little saturation. Uh, kind of adds little taste if you can, uh, if you say to the piano. So this is how it sounds with the effect. Okay, so after that, uh, I had another piano uh, sound, which I added a ton of reverb. And this is like really important uh, and I kind of blend the two together because if you just play the one with the reverb you don't really hear the keys so I have one piano where it has like you hear like you know the keys and then on the second one it has the reverb it's kind of like the ambience this is where you fill your space This one is the exact same notes as this. It just has a ton of reverb and let's see what, what else I added on there. I added a compressor. Let's see if we oh yeah. I added a compressor and EQ kind of like boost the highs so you hear the reverb really uh, really better. So after that, after I lay the keys down, um, let's see what else I got. I gotta find okay I'm gonna play the melody that I which is kind of that I really like so the melody channel 8 okay so the melody is something simple I use the sound uh, pretty much like on a lot of my good beats because it just has this airy like you know synth and it, it's really like if you don't know how to play it, like keys it's really helpful because when you play like a different note it kind of like does this gliding thing so it sounds really smooth so if you're not smooth like me and you're a little choppy and you're playing when you're recording it, it comes out really good so basically uh, yeah so that's just a synth and I wasn't happy with that so what I usually do is on some of the beats, it works on some beats and it doesn't work on others so I don't know why, it just depends. Uh, so I had a gross beat which is another plugin that comes with FL Studio uh, and this is how it sounds with the gross beat on there. So I added like a gate effect to where it like chops it up.
Yeah, I added a gate effect. And also, uh, it helps a lot once you make your synth or your main lead. Uh, you copy the layer and you put reverb on that and kind of like blend the uh, two together. Kind of helps the ambience. If you're trying to make like ambient trap beat, you should always like get in the habit of like duplicating that layer and put in effects on that one and kind of mixing it. So after that, we go to the drums. Let's get back to uh, let's get back to it. Yep, yep. So just a little si a simple kick and snare. Now sometimes uh, on on most of my beats, I really go crazy with the kicks, but sometimes it's better to just. Uh, Leave it as just a simple kick and snare. Uh, just make sure on the kicks, make sure like you know they're level right. And I use some compression. And you, I use the Fruity Soft Clipper, kind of like. Basically, what I'm telling you guys, everything I say, you should like go and look more in depth to it. I'm just telling you what I use and why I use it. But I don't know like to give a, exa a definite definition of why it does why it does. If that makes sense. <laughs> uh, yeah the soft clipper what it does it just like uh, amplifies the kick and it kind of like makes it distort but kind of controls the the threshold and I use that and also on the snare I use I use nothing on the snare because the snare that I had was already if the snare is already like compressed you don't want to like uh, over compress it because it will it will make it sound washed out so this snare that I use luckily you know sounded really good already uh, so I didn't add anything else then I have the hi-hats again something simple yeah this this beat is rather simple uh, in the making but uh, it's really like once you add it all together it sounds really like complex so let me see what else I have on there. Yeah, the hi hats, the keys. Man, that's that's pretty much it on, on this beat. Let me see what this is right here. Okay, I did add like a string. I wanted to like on the hook, uh, kind of differentiate it from the verses. So I added like a just a just one long note. I don't I forgot what they call it, but just one long note of string. And then in the end, I switch it up. Kinda yeah, yeah. Two, so, so two notes. So that one I have it uh, laid out on the hook, so that way they know where the hook is. And let me see. Yeah, I, I didn't do m nothing else really on the beat. And let me see if I'm missing anything. Yeah, that's it. So all together. to tell you guys is like once I added the the reverb to the piano if you notice I added an automation I don't know if you guys can see the screen but basically right here uh, let me just solo it out automation to kind of disting distinguish like the the hook and the the verses so on the automation part I just added the EQ and I kind of killed the the high end on that piano so it sounds like kind of like this muffled like in the space ambient beat so his own element it almost sounds like a different instrument but really when you're going for a spacey beat or like an ambient beat you really, you really should like uh, EQ and reverb 
EQ and Reverb are your friends. So that's pretty much it for this beat. If you like what I do, please subscribe and make sure you watch the, the music video and drop a comment. I appreciate you guys watching. Till next time, yes. Yeah, yeah. Work hard every day, get paid every day, play hard every day, every day, every day, day night, day night, day night, day night, day night. Work hard every day, every day, every day. Stayed up super late, plotting motors, but a cake can't lose, gotta win, can't afford to make mistakes. Close sharp, that's the cake, got enough, so grab a plate. Don't got time to celebrate, just focus.